thank you so much for your videos about services in Bloomix. I'm interested in a visual recognition service in Bloomix and uh, it would be great if you could explain to me how I can use this service. I'm very from Germany. Thank you. Hello there and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Henry Bakshi and this time we're going to be going over how you can use the IBM Watson visual recognition service in order to classify images. Now to begin, uh, as you can see, Benny has sent me a question. She is one of my subscribers and is from Germany. Uh, and so she sent me a question about the IBM Watson visual recognition service. Uh, and so uh, as you can tell, uh, I'm going to be creating a video about the topic. Uh, so now I've actually been getting quite a few requests about this service uh, and to actually create a video about it. And so I decided, why not? Uh, all right, so now another thing is uh, its possibilities in the IoT field as well, since it was actually merged with Alchemy Vision since IBM bought that a few years ago. Uh, its possibilities in the IoT field are endless because, of course, it's much more accurate now. All right, so let's begin. So now, first of all, as you can see, I have my uh, helper and model Bruno here, uh, who is going to be sort of modeling for the uh, visual recognition classifier. Now, if you're wondering how a dog uh, relates to this uh, video, well, essentially what's going to happen is I'm going to train the visual recognition classifier in order to tr classify dog breeds. And so it's going to be able to differentiate between a golden retriever, uh, a Dalmatian, and a husky. Uh, now, one more thing, this is extremely accurate. So if you were to put in a uh, another uh, sort of picture of an animal uh, that's colored very closely to a golden retriever, uh, it would still be able to say, you know what, this isn't a golden retriever, uh, because what's going to happen is we're going to feed in positive examples of a golden retriever, positive examples of a Dalmatian, and positive examples of a husky, but also negative examples of animals that are not uh, dogs, like for example cats and lions, uh, and other th animals like that, and humans. Uh, and so it should be able to differentiate between them. Alright, so now we're going to be getting into the Mac part, where I'm going to be showing you how to use CURL commands in order to actually train your own classifier using the default data given by IBM Watson and then we'll see if uh, it can classify Bruno here. Alright, let's get to the Mac part. Again, thank you very much Bruno. Alright, let's get to it. So, welcome back to the Mac part and now I'm going to be showing you how you can use the visual recognition service in order to classify dog breeds. So let's begin. Now first of all, uh, as you can see in Bluemix over here, uh, I have, uh, I'm about to create a visual recognition service uh, and so I'm going to just choose the space, application, just leave it unbound if you'd like, uh, the service name, the credential name, and of course the selected plan, uh, which in this case is going to be free for me. If I click on create now, then um, in just a second, it should create the uh, the uh, classifier sir. I mean the recognition service. Uh, and as you can see here, it is done. So now, as you can see, what we need to do is go to the service credentials. Uh, and as you can see, the API key is over here. Now, this is actually a bit different than other Watson services in that it doesn't give you a username and a password, instead it gives it just one API key, uh, which is, I, I, usually like that it's more convenient to have just one key rather than two username and passwords, so much better. All right, so now continuing. So now, what we're going to do uh, is first of all, I'm going to show you how you can actually create uh, a corpus of knowledge that we're going to give to Watson to train it. Uh, so let's begin. First of all, uh, as you can see, what I have is text files of URLs of lots of images of Dalmatians, Golden Retrievers, Huskies, and animals that are not dogs, like cats, lions, and cheetahs. So now, remember, these are hundreds of URLs, all right? Uh, and so basically, uh, what I'm doing is I've created this Python script. And what this uh, really simple script does, I, I whip this up in about five minutes, not even five. And so basically, uh, what this does is it will uh, basically take uh, a text file. It will take the name of a text file in its current directory. It'll take a directory name. And what it'll do is it'll read that text file uh, for lots of, or sorry, uh, it'll read that text file for lots of links uh, to images. Uh, and so basically what can happen uh, is I essentially take these images, I download them, uh, and put them into a respective directory that I told it to. Uh, and then later what I can do manually is just compress these into zip files and then send these to Watson to train. All right, so now let's begin. First of all, uh, in order to actually uh, sort of download 
uh, these text files. First of all, uh, though, I won't be telling you how to get the links into these text files, though, that you're going to have to find out yourself. Uh, but uh, this Python file will be available on GitHub for you to download so that you can actually make use of it. Uh, so now, what you need to do in order to use this uh, is it's a very simple script. All it is just Python, download images, give it the URL file, for example, URLs, Dalmatians, uh, and tell it where you want it to save. Uh, in this case, Dalmatians. Okay? Uh, just enter, and then it'll download all the images. But I have them pre-downloaded already. Alright, so now, that's how you're going to download all of your images. Uh, once you have downloaded all of your images, as you can see, uh, hundreds of images here. 280 to be exact. Uh, once those are all downloaded, you can, of course, uh, send them to Watson. So now, in order to do that, uh, you need to compress these into zip files uh, and ensure that these zip files are no larger than 50 megabytes. If they are, well, back to the drawing board for you. Uh, you have to uh, somehow reduce the size of these zip archives. Continuing, though. So now, we're going to be using a set of curl commands uh, because uh, they haven't come out with a toolkit for the visual recognition service uh, to train with yet, uh, but we will be using uh, curl commands in order to train our classifier. All right, so now, as you can see, uh, I have this little curl command set up, and basically what this means is we're going to be sending a post request uh, to the Watson platform gateway. Uh, and basically, I'm going to enter my API key, uh, as you can see here, though, I'm just going to copy and paste in my API key to this URL. And so, uh, quite generic, actually, uh, we're just creating a classifier with a name, TB Dog Classifier, Tanya Bakshi's Dog Classifier is what it stands for. We're giving it some Dalmatian positive examples over here. Uh, um, in fact, if I can just, yeah. So as you can see, we're giving it some uh, Dalmatian positive examples here, uh, and we're telling it Dalmatian.zip uh, to find them. Husky positive examples, husky.zip. Uh, and golden retriever positive examples, golden retriever.zip, uh, and of course negative examples, things that are not dogs are not dogs.zip. And so as you can see over here, so now uh, one more thing is uh, in the actual curl command I said Dalmatian, not Dalmatians, and golden retriever, not golden retrievers, and um, husky. All right, so now as you can see, uh, I have this really simple curl command ready that will start the training of our classifier. Uh, and I have these four zip files ready as well. So I'm going to copy this curl command. All right, go to terminal. And as you can see, if I uh, list directory here, uh, we have the zip files here. So now, uh, if I were to run this curl command, in theory, uh, it says, as you can see, could not open dalmatian.zip. Let's see what the problem is here. Um, oh, yes, I miss, uh, misspelled uh, dalmatian.zip. Sorry. Uh, so, it's not O-N, it's just A-N. Okay, so now as you can see, if we run this once more, it'll be able to post to Watson. And in just a second... Now again, it is uploading uh, quite a few images to Watson, so it may take a second. And as you can see, it has submitted back to us our classifier ID, the classifier name, the owner, which is me, uh, the status, which is currently uh, it's currently in training, and the three classes that it'll classify between. Alright, so now one more thing. This is actually a cur uh, curl command which you can use to check the training status, uh, just like you can of like, uh, let's say, a retrieving rank. Uh, and so, if I go back to the result of this um, uh, curl command over here, as you can see, I'm going to copy the classifier ID, copy it, pay, uh, wherever it says uh, classifier ID in this document, I'm going to paste that in, uh, and where it says API key, I'm going to paste in my API key. All right. Then all I need to do is copy this curl command, move it uh, to my terminal, paste it in, and as you can see, it is currently training. Now, we've sent it around, I'd say, 600 images, which is a lot of images, and each of them uh, are not too huge. I mean, in total, it was around uh, 5 megabytes of data that we're sending, or 6 megabytes of data. Uh, so it shouldn't be too long until it trains. This might take up to an hour or two. Uh, then again, if you're sending many more images, I currently did like uh, around 200 uh, per class, uh, and they were just under 2 megabytes. Uh, and so, I mean, you could fit thousands of images uh, in 50 megabytes. So, 
Yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, uh, and right as it is done training, whether it be in a few hours or maybe even tomorrow, I'm going to continue uh, recording, uh, and then we're going to move, uh, sort of stitch these two videos together, uh, and then we will uh, see how our classifier turned out. Uh, and as you know, my good old friend Bruno, uh, that I was showing you in the beginning of the video, uh, he is going to be one of our test subjects uh, in our video today. Alright, so uh, I'm going to be back in a few hours uh, once it is done training. So the classifier is finally done training. Uh, it's been around 15 minutes, uh, not as long as I expected actually. Uh, it actually took much less than I expected. Uh, and so yeah, that's great. Uh, so it took 15 minutes. I was expecting one to two hours, maybe even a day uh, to classify around 600 images, but it was able to do it within 15 minutes. I'm very excited about that. So as you can see, this is uh, actually a picture of Bruno that we are going to be classifying over here. Uh, and so he is a golden retriever, as you should probably know. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going to see if Watson can label him as a golden retriever. So now, first of all, as you can see, uh, I've actually set up a tiny URL link uh, that ha that is a direct link to Bruno's picture, this Bruno picture. Uh, and so basically, uh, yes, actually Watson's visual recognition takes a URL as a parameter uh, for an image. Uh, and so basically it can follow those redirects. So it will find the final link uh, and then download that and send it. Um, and so, yeah, it's able to resolve those links. So now, as you can see in Adam over here, I mean uh, Sublime Text, uh, now, basically, I'm running the classify um, sort of endpoint here, uh, but I'm giving it the API key of, you know, the normal API key, and I'm setting a URL to the tiny URL that is a direct link to Bruno's picture. Then I'm setting the classifier IDs to just my uh, classifier ID that I set up. The owner is me, not IBM, and the threshold is zero. And I'm setting the version of the classifier to use to 2016.05.20, which is the current latest version. Alright, so now I just put these enters in so it was a bit easier to understand. So if I remove all of these real quick, as you can see, this is a valid curl command, which I should technically be able to paste into my terminal. And as you can see, what's going to happen is if I actually copy this tiny URL link, um, and if I paste it in, it will download a file, um, which is Bruno's picture. Again, sometimes the internet isn't always cooperating with you. Oh, as you can see, it's done. Uh, and as uh, over here, this is a picture we're going to be classifying of him. All right, so now, if I click enter for the curl request, in just a second, you should see, as you can see, it says Dalmatian with 7% confidence, Golden Retriever with 89.9% confidence, and Husky with 4.7% confidence. So that means Golden Retriever is the highest, and we get to know that Bruno is a Golden Retriever, according to Watson. And as you can see, that was a tutorial on how to use the visual recognition service in Bluemix. Again, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below, share this video with uh, people who you might think can help, and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of my content, or you just, in general, enjoy it. Enjoy it. really does help out a lot. Uh, Alright, if you have any questions, suggestions, feedback, uh, or ideas, uh, you can leave them down in the comments below. Email them to me at tagimani at gmail.com, or tweet them to me at tagimani. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to the channel if it really helps you out. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay? Hi, Tanmi. Uh, thank you so much for your videos about services in Bluemix. I'm interested in a visual recognition service in Bluemix, and uh, it would be great if you could explain to me how I can use this service. I'm Bernie from Germany. Thank you.